tonight we will do a beautiful Bible study. Let's, wife, would you like to start reading first? I don't want it. I mean, I don't have no room. I got no room. We can put it inside this refrigerator in here. It's, you know, it's not like the table is. Chicken was delicious. It was a good idea to stop at the store. Yes, it was. It was good. We yeah. got a double spring bacon and all that stuff. At least the chicken was satisfied. You know, it's satisfactory. Chicken. Yes. Okay. Wife, would you please read Proverbs? Will you be reading, yes or no? Would you, would you wash your hands? So I could pass you my Bible. Read it, like what you read. Okay. Proverbs 2, 10 through 12. Who could it be? If the doorbell rings, you're right. Wonderful. Welcome. Yes. Yeah, Let's go check out the new car. <laughs> we'll be back. Run away from Dan. <laughs> well, we're live again, and we're just in time. We have tortillas. If you like tortillas, we have Philadelphia cream cheese. Nothing right now. And we're about to read Proverbs number two. Well, that's a beautiful car that she has, but it should come with a tire, a spare tire. Dan, you had no idea until I said that. No, no idea I, I agree with you then yeah, when, yeah, when you mentioned that. It's the law, actually. It is. It's the law. They can't sell an object that. And then when you get a flat, <laughs> and well, you lost I, it. I had a donut for a car, but I was driving a truck, so I was like, well, I don't need this. Oh, all right. It doesn't whatever. fit. Yeah, it would fit. It would? Fit. It would? You, yeah, it would tilt a, a little bit. I have a spare uh, tire in my house there for trucks. I'm not going to fit on a truck. That's a regular new tire. So he's like, yeah, you can drive on that. The thing is not a fancy little donut. It's a good well, tire. Well, maybe the donuts are new inventions because maybe they came with original tires, you know? Maybe. Five uh, big ones. My leaky towel car was a 15 275 70. That's the size of That's the, the size of the tire. Yeah, that's the size of the tire. So this is for a truck. It's like, like leaky. It's 76 inches. <laughs> Big time for you. Big time. Yeah. So was my excursion there with you. I love this one, Proverbs 2. I, I'll read the first couple of sentences. Moral benefits of wisdom. My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, 
turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding. And if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as, as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He holds victory in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless. For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will protect you, and understanding will guard you. Wisdom will save you from the ways of wicked men, from men whose words are perverse, who leave the straight paths to walk in dark ways, who delight in doing wrong and rejoice in the perverseness of evil, whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. It will save you also from the adulteress, from the wayward wife with her seductive words, who has left the partner of her youth and ignored the covenant she made before God. For her house leads down to death and her paths to the spirits of the dead. None who go to her return or attain the paths of life. Thus you will walk in the ways of good men and keep to the paths of the righteous, for the upright will live in the land and the blameless will remain in it, but the wicked will be cut off from the land and the unfaithful will be torn from it. Yeah, I just got chicken. You want some chicken? No, no. I, uh, I, I went to uh, this restaurant with you earlier. It's got like, like $30. But I gave the waitress a seven dollar seven fifty tip. I don't know what Beautiful. I don't know what overcame me. <laughs> the delicious oh, food. <laughs> she was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was but Deanna would be like, give her three dollars. <laughs> I'm like she was really nice and she had a big bruise on the side of her face, so I guess that's what made me be like, oh. When I went to North yeah. Dakota with my other half, we had three tips for like chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that's usually like what it, the, but they you know, I used to I used to working there, and I was like, I want some of this tip. I know, I do all the work. The they chef, uh, they have enough money. Yeah, that's the thing, the chefs, no, and, not that you know, the waiters get $3 for yeah. whatever an hour. Yeah, for not at that one. Yeah, and then the, the chef usually gets 10 or 11, yeah. and then everybody else gets like 8, but the like, dishwasher gets 8, dishwasher, but, you know, those tips, like the waiters in the end of the night come out with like $200 during the night or $300 a night. I remember the one later was like, my girlfriend is a manager at the dollar store, and I make more than her as a waiter. Wow. So. That's a good restaurant. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, if you're a good, I was not Because I remember they, they'd come back, and they'd be really mad, and be like, screaming. Because some customer, you know, was rude to the waiter, and they get really mad. And I was like, yeah, there's no way I could do that. I couldn't do it. <laughs> They well, yeah, you don't like the food. Well, yeah. take yeah. the table. Yeah, I just, it's not, it's just not worth it to me. They say, oh, the money, you'll get the money. And I'm like, well, you don't know me that well. <laughs> they were saying that I was a tailor because they're working there. I'm like, I can't be a waiter. And they're like, oh, the money will make you, you good. I'm like, if you could give me a million dollars, if somebody like really gets it under my skin, I don't know. I need at least ten more, years. ten more years. They used to be a lot worse about it before. I'm getting worried about it. But just go to the restaurants you like then, you know? <laughs> Let's see. Do you have any favorites, Anna? Do you have any yeah. favorites? Good. Favorite Texas. Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, I wanted to go there. So let's go to, we'll go to the uh, Roadhouse, which she's vegan. So there's, no, oh. there's nowhere to go. Like, I can't take her. Oh, I love Texas. Well, Texas maybe there's Roadhouse, an ice cream place, stuff. you know? There's, uh, it's, it's the only place I like in Arizona. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like Oh, uh, Chiles, too. Chiles, Chiles. Yeah, Chiles. Uh, Longhorn, but I don't know if they have one. 
uh, tomorrow we will do more, more uh, of a Bible study because the children are out having fun tonight. Good for them. Yes, yes, they're having a beautiful time. All right, God bless you and those that surround you.